Hello, this is Mira from Alaya Pilates. This is a pregnancy mat for back release. In this class, we'll be doing a full pregnancy mat class, focusing on spinal mobilization and release. This class is suitable for any trimester in a pregnancy. If this is your first time exercising while being pregnant, I urge you to seek a doctor clearance before starting to exercise. And if this is not your first time, please listen to your body, only go to where you feel most comfortable. We're going to start the class with some pelvic floor muscle activation to get you accustomed and connected with the pelvic floor muscles. And you may also need two cushions or pillow which may assist you in some exercises. I will guide you how and when to use the cushion throughout the class. So let's go ahead and start the class. We're going to start with the pelvic floor activation. Now before we do that, I urge you to empty your bladder before we work out, we work our pelvic floor muscles. So go ahead and pause the video and come back and join me when you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna start with the pelvic floor activation. Now have a sit, however most comfortable position you like to be. So you can sit with a, um, a diamond leg position like so, or cross-legged. You can also take one of these cushions and have it underneath your bottom and sit on it and do so. Okay, so choose a position that is most comfortable for you. Okay, I'm going to choose myself in a cross leg position. You're welcome to do anything or any position you like. Perhaps sitting on the chair is also fine. Okay, so the pelvic floor muscles is down there in the pelvic ball. Okay, we're gonna work and activate that pelvic floor muscle. I've created a pelvic floor tutorial and pelvic floor um, class where you can learn and have a deeper understanding what is a pelvic floor and a pelvic ball. So if you don't have a clue what is a pelvic floor muscle, I invite you to go ahead and browse on this channel and have a look in the tutorial so you have a sort of clear understanding so you can connect your pelvic floor better during this pregnancy. So let's go ahead and sit up tall. Now we're gonna tap into that pelvic floor muscles, okay? Sitting bone muscles and a pubic bone muscle. We're gonna draw those three uh, part, three spot into a little triangle there. So in the middle of the triangle, I need to go ahead and draw that pelvic floor muscles and we're gonna do an exercise called the pelvic floor elevator. So the elevator goes up to the fifth floor, which is the belly button, and it goes to the ground floor, which is where you're sitting the ground, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and lift that pelvic floor all the way up to the fifth floor, and then we're gonna go into variation of, um, of a lift and release, lift and release on an inhale as well as on, on the exhale. So go ahead and make close your eyes if you like to, take an inhale. Now exhale, I need to draw that pelvic floor elevator up towards the third floor. And I want to hold that on an inhale. And then exhale, I wanted to draw the pelvic floor down to the ground floor. And then go ahead and exhale, draw the pelvic floor muscle up all the way to the fifth floor this time. Inhale, we hold that. And then exhale, we take it down. Inhale, take the pelvic floor to the first floor. Exhale, down to the ground floor. Inhale, up to the third floor. Exhale, down to the ground floor. Inhale, up to the fifth floor. And then exhale, down to the ground floor. Go ahead and inhale to the first floor. And then exhale, up to the second floor. Inhale, up to the third floor. Exhale, up to the fourth floor. Inhale, up to the fifth floor. Exhale, take it down, down, down to the ground floor. One last time. Inhale up to the second floor. I want you to exhale and hold it there in the second floor. Inhale, hold it up there on the second floor. Exhale, hold it up there on the second floor. Inhale, release it down to the ground floor. Okay. I hope you got that. You can also practice that pelvic floor muscle elevator at any time in the day. 
on an empty bladder. It'll help you to get connected and get stronger pelvic floor. All right, let's move on. So throughout the class, please activate and lift that pelvic floor muscles as much as you can and then release it at times where you don't have to hold it all the time. Okay, so let's sit with the leg, either cross leg like so or in a diamond position. I'm gonna go diagonal here. Have your hands on the front of the knees or the shin bone here. Now I want you to have your arms lifting or help you to lift that spine up, okay? Now take an inhale here. Exhale, draw that pelvic floor. I want you to go ahead and rock the pelvis and pelvic floor lifting up, rounding the spine back and then come back as you inhale, lift the spine and then coming up into what we call a high release, an extension of the upper back and it's flat. And then exhale and inhale. And again, exhale, round. And an inhale, lift. And again, exhale, round. And an inhale, lift. One more time. And exhale, round. And an inhale, lift, high release. And center. Good job, I'm gonna move myself facing the camera now. All right, so lateral displacement of the rib cage. So we're gonna bring that ribs to my right and then center to the left and then center. So we're going to mobilize the rib cage to help you stretch out the intercostal muscles between the rib cage bones. So. And if this is too tricky for you, you can have your hands on your ribs. We're gonna push to one side. All right, so help, have your hand to guide you with a lateral displacement of the ribs. So sideways, like a typewriter, and a center, and a typewriter, and a center, and then to right, and a center. Just breathe, left, and a center. One more each side, right, and center, last one. Okay, now we're gonna do a rib cage clock here. So we're gonna go to the right first, and then we're gonna go forward, and then left, and then rounding to the back, and then right. So you're making, you're creating a circular movement with the rib cage. So left, back, right, front, left, back, right, front. Two more sets, just keep breathing here. And the last one. And to the center, other direction please. We're gonna left, front, right and back. Left, front, right and back. Just try to enjoy this movement. It may be tricky for you today to do this, that's okay, just do your best. However, you can move your rub cage today. Okay, so left, front, right, and back. Two more, left, front, right, and back. And keep moving the ribs one more time. And center, okay. All right, let's take your arms out to the side. Some side stretch, little lateral stretch. I'm going to my left here. I'm taking my right arm and I'm gonna stretch my right arm over my head, over to the left side. And I'm bringing it up nice and tall over to the right, lifting up, reaching away. And in, lifting the spine tall. And to the left, the right arm comes up, stretching over your head away from the hip and then lift it up center over to the right stretching my left arm over my head and I'm gonna lift the spine let's do one more side I go over to my left right arm over I want to lift the spine coming up and the last one to my left sorry that's my right left arm over and then come back up and then release into some spinal twist. I'm going to my left, 
reaching my right arm over towards my left knee. I'm gonna twist my body over to the left. We're gonna stay here in breath, and then exhale, and then release. And then rotating to the right, twisting, left hand over my right thigh, and then reaching to the back, twist, inhale, and then exhale, and release. Let's do one more set, over to my left, and I'm gonna rotate and twist, inhale, and exhale, and release. One more time, over to the right, left hand to my right thighs, and then inhale, nice and tall with the spine, and exhale, coming back. Okay, well done. So, join me in a butterfly or diamond leg position. Okay, so if you have been crossing your leg, please go ahead and switch your position like so. Now, I want you to bring your right hand on the right knee here. You can have your left hand here to support you. I want you to take the right knee up, and I want you to go ahead and bring it into an internal rotation at the hip, okay? And then bring it up again. You can lift the leg up and then into a diamond. And then lift it up into internal rotation. And then bring it up. You can even lean over your left arm if that's a little bit tricky for you. And again, lift the knee up into internal rotation. And again, bring it up into external rotation. And one more time. And then into internal rotation. And we're gonna stay in this position. Just make your legs a little neater here. So close the left foot closer to your right thigh, okay? So, try to get both sitting bones, so your bum cheek, right down on the floor as much as you can. If that's, if you really cannot, and that's okay, so just try to. Okay, now, I want you to go ahead. Right, so I got my right hip in internal rotation here. Now, I wanted to think about bringing this right bum cheek, initiating the movement from the hip. Here, so pushing the right sitting bone up and that movement, motion, is going to turn your body to the side, into rotation, right? And then I want you to drop that right sitting bone down, bringing your spine facing towards me. And I'm gonna push that right bum cheek up, initiate and pushing the hip forward to rotate the spine. And I'm bringing that bum cheek down coming to the center. And again, we're gonna inhale to reach and twist. And then exhale, initiate from the pelvis to bring yourself to the front. Two more times, inhale, reach and twist. And then bring that right hip down to the center. One more, hip, rotate the spine, twist. And then hip, rotate the spine, and come forward, taking your arms up to the T position here, moving on into some lateral flexion. So we go ahead and, I want you to keep the spine tall, go ahead and tip the spine over to the side. So this is my left side, okay? Now from here, what you're going to do is again, initiating the rotation from that right hip joint. I'm gonna push my right hip forward and then I'm taking my body into a twist here. Now, staying here, opening up the chest, the back nice and open, in breath. Now, as you exhale, I need to go ahead and bring the right hip down, and then that gonna initiate the spine to rotate to the front. And again, pushing that hip, and that's gonna initiate the twist back to that little mermaid position here. And then inhale, lifting that spine, opening up that chest, and then bringing the right hip down, and then open up the spine. Again, two more times, hip, waist, ribs, chest, hold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, hip, twist, and open. One more time, and then hip, rotate, twist and extend the back as you inhale and then exhale twist the hip back and then bring it back to the front and then coming up and then release okay release the leg now let's go ahead over to the other side we start with the diamond leg position so we're going to bring the left knee on sorry left hand on the left knee right hand on the side i want you to pick up the leg 
and then go ahead into internal rotation. And then bring up, pick up the left knee and into external diamond. And then lift and then into internal rotation and lift and into external rotation. Two more, lift, internal rotation and lift and an external rotation and a one more internal rotation and let's just stay in this position yeah so go ahead and make your leg you make your shape a little neater so bring the right foot in towards your left thigh okay so so we're gonna go in that initiation from the hip socket here so I got my left sitting bone Try to keep it down as much as you can on the floor. So I wanted to push that left sitting bone up, bringing the hip into extension, and I want you to just go ahead and twist the spine. And then the left sitting bone will go down, bringing your body facing towards me. And then hip lift, and it take you into a little twist, and then left hip down, taking you down facing to the front. And again here, so what is this doing? is to stretch and activate that pelvic floor muscle on the left side, okay? And then rotate back and down. One more time, lift it up, twist it, reach out to the side and left hip down. All right, let's take yourself into a lateral stretch or side stretch. So, I'm set to the side, I'm wanting to lean the body away, the spine stay long, and I want to go ahead and take the right hand down, so one straight line from the bottom arm to the top arm. So go ahead and lead with the left hip as you twist the spine over into a little mermaid position here. So go ahead and inhale, extend the spine tall, and then as you exhale, left hip will pull me back, pull me back, pull me back, coming up into the front and again left hip lifting up and then take me into a twist inhale elongate use your breath lift that pelvic force stretch the spine up and then exhale lead with the left hip to take yourself back facing the front two more time left hip twist rotate reach extend the back inhale and then exhale, left hip down, twist, open, face the front. One more time, left hip, twist, rotate, extend back, inhale, nice and tall, proud chest, neck is easy. And then exhale, left hip down, rotate, back to the middle, coming up, and then release the arm, and then take your leg back. Okay, so let's come up onto a quadruped position. All right, let's start working. We're just gonna lift this up so you can see what's happening. Let's start working with some TA, transverse abdominals connection here. Okay, so onto a four-point milling position. I want you to have the shoulder and your hands aligned, knee and your hips aligned. All right, proud chest here. So, let's go ahead. I want you to take an inhale. Now, as you exhale, go ahead and lift that pelvic floor muscle up. All right, lift the pelvic floor muscle up and I want you to go ahead and draw that abdominal wall up. So hug the baby up towards the spine. And an inhale, let it go. So I'm just gonna blow my belly out so you can see what's happening. So I'm blowing my belly out, please don't, you don't have to. Now from here, exhale, I want you to draw ahead, go ahead and lift that abdominal wall up to hug the baby in towards the spine as tight as possible, okay? And an inhale, release. And again, exhale. Go ahead and draw that transverse abdominal up, hugging the baby in. And then release. One more time. And then exhale. Draw it up, draw it up, draw it up. And then release. Good job. Now we're going to go into some pelvic curl here. So go ahead and exhale, lift that belly up like you just did before. And then you're going to curl the pelvis under. So imagine you have a little tail here. So I want you to curl that tail underneath you. So we're going to bring the tail between the knees. And then inhale, release back to the flat back. And then exhale, go ahead and draw the pelvic floor and transfer the abdominals. And then curl the tail between the knees. And then back to flat. Two more, exhale, we curl the tight. 
inhale, release the tail. And then exhale, we curl the tail. Inhale, release. So now, some lateral tilt. So I'm going to tilt my pelvis to my left and then center. And then to the other side, I call this a little wag the tail. So I'm wagging my tail to the left and then wagging my tail to the right. Again, taking care that you are supporting the baby in abdominal, that you're not gonna let the baby hang down like so, okay? I want you to create a nice strong position with the arm and the legs, and then over to the right. Let's do one more each side, and then to the left, and then center, and then to the right, and then center. Moving on to our pelvic clock. So, we go into a pelvic curl, Right, tuck the pelvis under. Now I'm gonna go to my left and I'm gonna stick my body out and then to my right and curl down to the left, stick my body out and then to the right and then curl under, left, stick it up to the right. And so just creating a nice smooth circular movement with the pelvis. So curling as much as you can, okay? And then curling and enjoy the stretch that you're creating in the spine at this point. And one more. And center over to the other side, please. So pelvic curl to my right, sticky booty out, and the left, and a curl, right, left, and again. So just keep breathing. And then pushing the floor away, strong arm, long neck, easy shoulder if you can. Let's do two more time. And then down, last one to the right, stick it out, left, curl under, and then release. Good job. All right, now, moving on to our cat stretch. So we're gonna um, involve the upper spine as you curl the pelvis. Go ahead and curl, sorry, go ahead and draw the abdominal wall up, and then curl the pelvis, and then take your upper spine to round the spine with you. And then go ahead and intake and lengthen the spine, and then take your spine into an upward arch, and then into a flat, and then exhale. We push the floor into a round back, and then into a flat, and then into an upward arch. Two more times, flat, and into a round back, into a flat, and into an upward arch. One more time, into a run back, and flat, and then upward arch, and then center, moving on to our wag the tail. Now, we did with the pelvis before, we're gonna involve the upper spine. So we're gonna look towards step bum cheek, and then center, and then to my right, look towards my right bum cheek, and then center, and then look towards the left bum cheek, and then center, and the right bum cheek, and then center, and the left bum cheek, and then, and the right bum cheek. Don't forget the baby, lift the baby up, hug it to your spine, and over to the right, and let's do one more each side, and left, and the right, and then center. Sit back for a second, and just release the wrist. So we're just gonna turn the wrist, three, two, one, over the other side, three, two, one. Coming back onto our all four position again. Okay, now I need to hold strong in that abdominal, in the baby, hold the baby up. Now I'm gonna take my left hand behind my head. You can also take it in front of your forehead like so if you like to. So either position, it's fine by me. Now I need to go ahead and rotate the spine. Open up, looking up to the ceiling and then bring your body over to the other side. So my left elbow can then touch to my right arm into a flat and then into a twist and then center and then into a rotation and flat. Inhale, twist and center and one more time. And we open and then exhale back to the middle, release the arm over to the other side. So my right arm goes behind my head or in front of your forehead if you wish to. And then go ahead and twist the spine, opening up as much as you can. And then exhale, 
back and twist and an inhale open that chest and an exhale elbow to the opposite arm two more inhale and an exhale one more inhale and an exhale Come back to the middle and then go ahead and release okay now hold that belly be up onto a spine i want you to extend your left leg out all right and then lift and then bring it down and bring it under and then go ahead and extend hold this tight and then lift and back so keep the spine quiet keep the pelvis quiet too so slide it out up and down and then two more and then slide it out up and down and then close last one slide up and down and then close now go ahead again lift and then reach i want you to go ahead and tuck the knee in and go into a flexion in the spine and then again extend out and exhale into flexion rounding of the back that is and then extend i'm just going to adjust my position and then again two more rounding push the floor away and an inhale lengthen proud chest last one rounding and an inhale lengthen and proud chest bring the leg down bring it in over to the other side please slide the leg and then we'll lift and then bring it down and then in and an exhale strong spine stable pelvis and again slide and lift and down make sure you don't sway your pelvis left and right keep it rock solid really try to hug the baby with you in a deep deep back of the spine okay one more time and then extend lift down all right let's add some flexion so we're gonna head and lengthen the leg out and then bend the knee tuck it in and round the back pull it in and then reach slide up and then round the back pull it in and then reach slide out and then two more rounding and slide and last one and rounding and slide bring it down and then bring it in all right let go of your left arm forward into a fist like so we're going to take the left arm up and down and then lift and down two more exhale and down last one exhale and down let's take it up again here i want you to go ahead and round the spine as you pull the elbows into the side of the ribs and then inhale extend three more exhale round with flex inhale extend don't let go of that baby drawing tight to your spine and an inhale proud chest long arm last one and then reach 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 bring it down switch over to the other arm taking my right arm forward bringing my hand into a fist and i would take the arm up and down and exhale up and down two more up and down last one all right let's take it up again hold here and go ahead and flex the spine round by pull the elbow to the side of your ribs and an inhale push reach the arm open chest exhale try to draw in that baby as tight as possible inhale reach and extend two more exhale inhale reach out last one exhale inhale reach out bring the arm down well done now let's adjust your position i want you have your knee slightly wider than the pelvis adjust the knee to your belly size okay so maybe wider than normal i'm not sure what trimester you are at at the moment just adjust the position to accommodate your condition right i want to take your hands a little bit more forward here all right and now i wanted to go ahead and bring the pelvis back beyond your knee 
Okay, but don't sit down. Now I want you to go ahead and take the chest towards the floor. All right, whatever floor you can have, okay? You may not go all the way down, that's fine. Your baby might get in the way. Just try to get the position that is best for you. Right, I want you to keep the neck nice and long, and I just want you to send the sitting bone back as far as possible, and then the chest as down as possible, just for a moment here, okay? Just for a moment. Inhale, and then exhale. All right, inhale, try to get the shoulder blade into your mid back or your brush straps area. And exhale, one more. Inhale, and exhale. All right, and help yourself up. Walk your hand in, walk your knees in, and then sit back. Okay, let's do some recircle again. We're just gonna rotate in three, two, one. The other way, three, two, one. Okay, moving on. Right, now this is where you need or you may need your cushion. I have two here. I'm gonna take one underneath my neck, underneath my head, sorry, not neck, lying on the side. Right, now the other one, if you have a bigger belly, you may need the cushion to support the size of the belly, okay? You may not need it, that's all right. You can take the pillow away. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pillow away because I don't need it, don't think. And just try to find the most comfortable position for your neck here. All right, tucking the knees in, I want you to go ahead and bring the feet aligned with the spine. All right, the arms are forward like so. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and lift the bottom a waistline up, so I don't want you to sag the spine down, okay? I want you to draw strong, pull it up, hug the baby in. All right, we're gonna do some round roll with the arm. So I'm gonna reach the arm forward, and I'm gonna take my arm over my head, and I'm gonna allow this arm to open my chest, taking me into a rotation, and then slide it down to my hip. And repeat, reaching out, bring it up overhead, reach out and away and stay on the floor. So trail a circle with your fingertips on the floor. And go ahead again, two more. Inhale, reach as far as you can. And then out to the side and down. One more, inhale, reach. And out ahead and exhale. And then down. All right, coming to the front again. Now reverse, forward, down and open, reach out, trail your hands on the floor, and to the front, and then down, and open, reach out, trail overhead, and then forward, and then one more time, down, I think that was four, maybe, if that was not four, please do one more for me, and then to the front here, okay. Now, from here, we're gonna add the leg and the arms. So, so a slight swing in with the leg. So I want you to, now, bring the leg back behind you like so. Okay, so you feel a stretch in the front of your top hip, and I'm gonna take my left arm out, diagonal, okay? Now, I'm gonna swing my leg forward, and then my arm will go back behind me. I'm gonna keep looking to my arm and I'm gonna bring the arm over. My leg is gonna swing behind me and I'm just keeping the knees bent. And then begin bringing arm back, swinging my leg in front of me and moving my leg back and the arm in front. Two more time and inhale, just breathing. And again, exhale. Reach in opposite direction and inhale. Reaching the knee and the arm away and then exhale. Reaching back and then come back to the front. Okay, now just tuck the bottom arm underneath you. We're just gonna do a quick climb here. So lifting the bottom waist, if you're not using any pillow, you can take your top hand here. We go ahead and open up the knee, stabilize the pelvis, and then we close. And again, exhale, up, and then we close. And exhale, up, 
and then we close and on to four sorry three or four let's go four I'm terrible at counting and then five and we close and six we close and seven we close eight stabilize the pelvis two more nine and the last one ten all right bring it in now i want you to take your feet forward like so okay so you're kind of creating a letter h here now i want you to lift the top leg up stabilize the waist and i just want you to hover the leg up like that and just stay holding there for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 hold it 2 1 and then release well done help yourself up all right tucking the feet in now i need to take the underneath arm up to the ceiling and let's go ahead and just stretch over to the other side so i'm stretching over my left side all right stay there in breath nice and tall with the back and an exhale coming up and then release let's go over to the other side so same thing all right so have your head on a pillow and a cushion all right reaching the arm forward all right tuck the knees feet aligned with the spine you can have again that cushion underneath the bottom waist if you like a bit of a support okay so let's go ahead spine is long drawing up the bottom waist go ahead and reach the arm and then bring the arm overhead and then rotate back trailing the hand on the floor and then down and again inhale reaching opening up the chest trailing the arm on the floor get the spine into a nice rotation here and then two more inhale reach and up and twist one more inhale reach and up and twist and bring the arm together and then reverse reach it up and then down open the arm rotate and take the arm up and forward again and down spin the arm open the chest twist it reach it up and then down two more reach the arm open up overhead and down last one reach the arm out open rotate and bring them together so let's add the leg here we're going to take the top leg bring it behind you and keep the knee bent and reach the opposite sorry the top arm in a diagonal position all right let's go ahead the leg goes forward swing forward on the floor and then the arm goes back and again reach it up and then that way and again leg forward lead with the knee reach with the arm and the hand and again leg goes back arm goes forward and let's go as far back as you can and then bring it up leg goes forward arm goes back and then leg goes back and arm goes forward and then one more and last 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 and bring it back to the center well done all right tuck the bottom arm underneath the cushion and then feet align with the bottom all right now lift the bottom waist up all right you can stabilize the hip here with the hand and then go ahead and into a clamp so open and then we close and on two and close on three and close pelvis is not moving so you're just moving your thigh into external rotation here to strengthen the external rotator muscle of the glute all right and then out of the hip joint and then let's go three more and two and one 
Okay, bring the knee in front of you and bring the feet forward. So, all right, now go ahead and lift the bottom waist up again and lift the thigh up, hover, and we stay there. Exhale, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, keep breathing, stabilize the pelvis, five, four, three, two, one, and then come on down. Help yourself up, come up gently. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring the feet. I lost my radio, so I'm gonna, excuse me, take a moment to clip on again. Okay, right, tuck my feet in. All right, I'm going to reach my bottom arm, which is my left, I'm reaching up to the ceiling, and I go ahead and stretch over laterally to my right and stay there inhale keeping my left side long and longer and then come up sitting up and tall okay now let's go into some seated position here all right sitting nice and tall here okay let's take your arms forward now if this is too tricky for you you're welcome to bend your knee and in fact go into a little white diamond position you're also welcome to sit on a cushion here okay so find a position that is most comfortable and if you have no issue i'd like you to join me straight legs long back flex feet back is strong and straight arms are forward taking in breath exhale articulate the spine forward okay rounding inhale and then exhale i want you to pick the baby up to lift the spine into an upright position Okay, and then exhale, go ahead and round the spine, articulate the spine one vertebra at a time. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and lift the spine up nice and tall one more time. And then exhale, articulate down one bone at a time. Try not to sledge though, try to still activate the back muscle. And then go ahead and lift up. All right, and then stay. Open your arms to a T position, palms are facing forward here. Now I want you to go ahead and twist towards me. We are gonna do a saw here. So rotate the body and then move one arm forward, the front arm forward and the other one back and then saw the outside of the foot. And lift, arm, center. We inhale, change the arm, exhale, hinge. Inhale, lift, exhale, back to center. Inhale, twist, arm and so reach try to keep the back active here and lift arm center in arm and hinge and lift exhale last set in exhale inhale lift and center last one in and an exhale and a lift and center okay now bring your legs together again you can also bend the knees a little bit or slightly um, diagonal but try to keep the spine long okay now palms facing up here i'm going to stretch my leg and flex my foot let's go to some twist double breath inhale center double breath inhale center and Last one. And then release. Have your feet math width apart, hands behind you, sitting nice and tall. I want you to go ahead and twist the leg to one side and back to center. Over to the other side and then center. And go ahead and in breath into internal rotation and external rotation at the hip. I call this a seated star stretch. And we'll go one more each side. And on the last one, and come back in. Bring your feet closer, hip width apart. Take your hands behind you, fingertips facing your bottom. I want to have the chest nice and opened. So going into a modified back support. So pressing the feet down, lifting the pelvis up, coming up into a nice stable position. I want you to get the pelvis as high as possible and open the front of the hip. Hinge at the hips as you go down, the chest stays nice and proud. And go ahead and press the hips up again, neck long, 
chest open, look into the ceiling, hinge down, proud chest. Two more. Inhale, lift, hips up, press the feet down, and then down. And then one more time, lift, hips up, neck long, and then come on down. Well done. I want you to go ahead and bring your feet into a diamond leg position, diamond shape, and then grab the shin with the hands. And I want you to lengthen the spine tall. Go ahead and bring that chest up as you inhale, coming into a chest, a nice high release. And stay here. Inhale, exhale. One more, opening up the chest. Neck is long and exhale. Come up right and walk your hand forward in front of you here. Adjust the pelvis to your most comfortable position and take your arms as far as you feel comfortable again. And then head down, neck long, inhale. Deep, deep inhalation, exhale. And let the gravity to take the weight of the body. One more time. And I'm feeling the stretch in the lower back as you exhale. And then help yourself up, coming up into a sitting position. Thank you for joining me today in this class. If you like this class, have a look at the other pregnancy class in this channel. And, and if you have time, go ahead and visit the pelvic floor and the pelvic ball tutorial that I created in this channel so that you have a better understanding about your pelvic floor muscles. Have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again in another class. Take care.